Happy Friday everyone and welcome to today's maths lesson and it's the final maths lesson of the week. So to get those brains in gear for today's final maths lesson, we are going to have a look at something we've already learnt in school and it's looking at shape. So the first thing we're going to do is, mums and dads, if you would like to pause the video here now and get your child to name the shapes that they can see or we will come back in a second and we all do it together. Okay, boys and girls, let's just review what we've already learnt this year. So can you tell me, if I point to one, can you tell me the 2D shape that you see? Ready? Square. Easy. Circle. Oh, what's a six-sided shape called? Hexagon. Fantastic. What about this one? Triangle. This one. Five-sided shape is a pentagon. Super. <gasps> Tricky one. If I tell you octoblock. Octagon. Fantastic. This one. The rectangle. Oh, and can anyone tell me what this one is? An oval. Fantastic. Excellent 2D shape naming. Now, I have my bag here and I've got some shapes inside. I would like you to tell me what you think the shape is that I'm describing and then I'll pull it out of the bag and you can see which one you thought and make sure that you understand what the properties are of the shape. Okay, ready? So this shape has four corners. This shape has four equal sides. What could my shape be, boys and girls? Did you get it right? It was a square. Excellent. Okay, the next one. Ready? Ooh. My shape has four corners. It has one, two, three, four sides. Can't be a square again. Two sides are long and two sides are short. What is my shape? Did you guess it? It was a rectangle. Excellent. Okay, next one. This shape has ooh, one, two, three sharp corners and it has one, two, three sides, equal sides. What is my shape? Excellent. Okay. Next one. Oh, my shape has one curved edge. What is my shape? It's the same shape as the sun. There's a little bit of a clue. Did you guess it? It's a circle. Fantastic. Well done, boys and girls. Excellent. Okay. So, mums and dads, today's learning isn't... <laughs> about shape, but it does include it, okay? And we are going to watch the number blocks video in series three, and it's called Pattern Palace. Now it's one of my favorites. So can you pause the video here and have a bit of a watch of Pattern Palace, and then we will go through what we need to do for today's lesson. Okay, boys and girls, wasn't that fantastic? Okay, a pattern. A pattern is simply repeated, okay? So we're going to try a few patterns for ourselves. if I've got my patterns. So I've got my number blocks here and I have mixed them up. I've mixed up the colours and I put them into a pattern. I've got purple, green, purple, green, purple. What is my pattern? What number block or colour will come after my purple? Purple, green, purple, green, purple, green. Fantastic. So an easy way how we remember our patterns is to say them out loud, okay? So we've got purple, green, purple, green, purple, Green, excellent. Okay, slightly more challenging this time, ready? 
you can pause the video here now, mums and dads. Can you tell me what the next one would be? What's next in my pattern? Ready? Yellow, orange, orange. Yellow, orange, orange. Yellow, orange, orange. So we've got one yellow, two orange. One yellow, two orange. One yellow, two orange orange okay now on the number blocks video they did a similar problem to this i would like you to see if you can work out what is happening in my pattern ready go can you tell me what would come next after my pink that's right i've got one red one pink one two two red one pink one two three red one pink what is going to come next boys and girls four red excellent well done a super pattern okay we are now going to play a game called finish my pattern okay so i want you to do exactly what i do but you're going to finish my pattern so if my pattern was ready What would come next? A pat on the head, because I did. Clap, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat. Excellent. So clap, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat. Okay, the next one, ready? I'm going to do three this time, ready? And I'm touching my knees. Touching my knees. Touching my knees. What comes next? Excellent. I did. Heads, shoulders, pat your knees. Heads, shoulders, pat your knees. Your turn. Heads, shoulders, pat your knees. Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to do another one, but I don't think you'll get this, boys and girls. This is your challenge, okay? I'm going to use phonics, a phonics pattern. And yes, it can be done, okay? So we are going to look at a pattern and you're going to tell me what comes next. So it's using all the phonics that we've done this week, the three digraphs. So I wonder if you can remember the three digraphs that we've done. And I would like you to tell me what comes next in my pattern. Remember to say what the pattern is out loud, okay? Ready? My first one. Uh, actually, no, I won't do that one first. I will do... Okay, that's one. See if you can work out my pattern. Say it out loud. What comes next in my pattern? Actually, I'll do the next one for you just so you can see. Okay, now that's a little bit easier, isn't it? What comes next in my pattern? Can you complete my pattern? Okay, fantastic. So we've got a qu, 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 shh and Excellent, boys and girls. Well done, you. Now, the reason why I did shape at the beginning is to get those shape brains in gear. Because if you would like, you can do it with shape as well. You can make patterns with shape. So again, if you would like to pause the video and you can tell me what comes next in my pattern. Did you get it right? Did you do? Triangle, square, Triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, and it keeps going. It's a repeated pattern. It repeats itself, boys and girls. Okay, what about this one? Can you tell me, first of all, what's a six-sided shape called? 
a hexagon, fantastic. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides and one, two, three, four, five, six corners. So we have a hexagon, square, square, hexagon. Can you tell me what comes next? Hexagon, square, square, hexagon, square, square, hexagon, and so on. Very easy, I think, boys and girls. So, if you would like to do a bit of a game, you've got this, that's called shape patterns. So you've got all the different shapes that you can reinforce and consolidate, mums and dads, and you've got three different levels. So we'll do one from level one, and you can have a go at doing if you want to challenge yourself, go up the level. If you want to just keep it level one, then that's absolutely fine as well. Okay, so we have orange square, blue triangle, orange square, blue triangle, orange square. Which one could it be? It's a blue triangle. So we're going to tap the blue triangle and it's going to complete our pattern. Okay, how about this one, boys and girls? Say it out loud. Rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square. Which one? Rectangle. Make sure we've got the difference. We know the difference between a square and a rectangle, boys and girls. Okay, easy peasy, easy peasy. Circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle. Excellent. Okay, and mums and dads, you can go on and challenge yourself with three part patterns. You don't just have to stick with a one, two, one, two, one, two type pattern. You can choose the next level up and you can look at this type of pattern or, or a three part pattern. So this really does take some concentration, boys and girls. So, triangle, triangle, pentagon, oval, triangle, triangle, pentagon. What could be my missing shape? A green oval. Fantastic. Well done, boys and girls. So, mums and dads, so you can keep going on that. It's completely up to you. So, we've got four different ways now you can do it. So, we'll get off that. We will exit there. So I will put that link on our class pages and you can have a go at that. So our task for today is going to be thinking about our own patterns. Now you can make this as challenging as you want. You can make the same patterns as I have. You can do drawing. You can use anything in the garden. You can do leaf, stick, stick, leaf, stick, stick, or pebble, pebble pebble, stick, pebble, 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 stick. Anything that you find in your garden, you can do a bit of printing with paint. So you can you cut up a uh, potato and use different paint to create different coloured patterns. We've used shape patterns, we've used coloured patterns, we've used phonics even, if you would like to do phonics. You could use a number pattern if you would like. It's completely up to you. But how many patterns can you create that are different I would like at least four different patterns this Friday, okay? So that's it for me. That's us done for Friday. And I know that Miss Nicholas is going to continue with some patterns on Monday. And she's got a very exciting maths lesson that ties into what we're doing next week. So I hope you'll all enjoy your weekend. And I look forward to seeing you next week for our next live session, okay? Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you soon.